dendritic cells, macrophages, or TAN cells. Um, the, their shape looks quite complicated, but uh, it doesn't have to be complicated. Hello scientists! Welcome back to Jobao Math, the tutorial channel that helps you to create graphical abstract for your research. So in the comment section, I received requests asking me how to draw some complicated cells like dendritic cells, macrophages, or TAN cells. Um, the, their shape looks quite complicated, but uh, it doesn't have to be complicated if you know how to use Pathfinder tools. So in this tutorial, I will show you how to quickly create these uh, irregular shape cells through Pathfinder tools. So without further ado, let's start to draw our map. This tutorial, we will focus on a tool called Pathfinder tool. You can go to Window and here Pathfinder to call it out and uh, it will be an icon over here on the left. Pathfinder tool can help us to build up the irregular shapes very quickly. Um, so I think we will mainly use a function called Unite in the tool set. So uh, I will very quickly show you how to create these uh, dendritic cells and microphage cells. So first I will create an ellipse as the cell body. Well, I already have one over here, but I will draw it again. And then uh, the nucleus. To uh, get rid of the outline and then use direct selection tool to push a side in like that. I will not draw exactly as the example because uh, I don't know if they have it copyright. So uh, it's actually a great thing to learn how to draw these images by yourself so you can do some small alternation and adjustments. Um, then um, you'll be more comfortable using them. I know a lot of my scientist clients are quite concerned with copyrights. Then we can put on the processes onto the cell body. So also uh, use the lips tool to draw a very flat ellipse and then we will zoom in and do some minor adjustment with the direct selection tool to make one tip rounder instead of pointy and the sides I'll make it a little bit inward Okay, then this will be the uh, basic unit for our processes. Then you can start duplicating it and put it to the back of the cell. Okay, then I will add on some of the smaller ones. here with a different length. Okay, I'll lock the nucleus then select all of these and go to your Pathfinder tool and click on Unite. So you see that your uh, processes are uh, merged with the cell body. So now we will only need to make these transitions around it. So uh, let's select them all and then click on these round handles. I'll zoom in so you can see it clearly. Select these and then drag on these round handles and you can smoothen up these angles. So the rest of the process is really uh, just the refinement of the shape of your cell and make it uh, the way that you like it to be and you can always add more processes along the way with direct selection tool just make sure that you put the new uh, components at the back before you unite them so it will apply the 
the same gradient onto your new process. That can save quite a lot of time. So that's how you draw dendritic cell. And for Macrophage, I will use it as a review of the Pathfinder tool techniques that I just showed you. So here, and let's grab that ellipse over there. So and then I'll grab my rectangle tool to create these block shape processes. Okay, when you're ready, select them all and click on Unite. Okay, then we will go through the same process of making these parts rounded. You see that they have a little rim over here, of a ri little rim of light. So I will implement that by overlaying another circle on top of it and affect Gaussian blur just to add a little bit of blurriness to it. Okay, and uh, then that's good. Lock these two. And I will continue to do some uh, adjustments uh, and then I'll speed this part up. So this is how you draw these complicated shape cells in a very quick manner. And uh, I hope this helped you with your graphical abstract. And if you find this video helpful, welcome to give a thumbs up and subscribe to Draw Mad. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.